Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3. Now, I've played this game quite a bit and I think I have a good weapon for you guys and it's called the ICR-1. Now, the attachments that I'm currently running on it in-game, I'm not too sure about. I would say it's probably Quick Draw and Grip, but as of now, as of recording this video, recording the commentary, I found that extended mags and stock seems to be the best weapon attachment combo there is, at least for me. And I found some other guns that are really nice too. If you give me, you know, like a few minutes of your time, hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will have found a gun that you like as well. Now I know this game is full of sweats, it's full of tryhards, and it's really hard, you know, it's really hard to, um, to do good in an environment like that. So I'm going to be telling you guys some guns that are low level, you know, low level to unlock that you guys could use and maybe you'll like them. So first up, we're just going to start by the way it starts in the game, right? So the first gun that I found that's pretty good is the VMP. Now it's, it's good, you know, it's a fully automatic sub submachine gun and its damage is not quite there, but it has a huge ammo capacity. I think it's like maybe 60, if not 80, somewhere right in there, and it fires really quickly. Now, that's a really good gun for uh, short range encounters. You know, if you're playing very small maps, or if you just want to get up in people's faces, if you want to rush a little bit more, that's also a very good weapon. I like that. Now, our next gun, if you want to stay on this, is the Weevil. Now, that reminds me of the P90, and I would say it's an all-around great machine gun, or submachine gun. Now, obviously, the best submachine gun on the list is the Razorback. But you don't get that until the 40s, so you don't need to worry about that until you get there. But once you're there, you know Razorback is what you want. Now, next up are the Assault Rifles, and I would say the XR2, ICR, Man of War, and the KN... Well, the KN44 should have been labeled first, but the KN44 are great guns. You know, the Assault Rifles in this game are nice. I like them. Um, I do feel like there needs to be at least... I mean, in all the lists, I would say one more gun, maybe two more for submachine gun, and uh, one more for the assault rifles. I just feel like this game is missing some guns. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But I think shotguns, you know, four is okay. Light machine guns, four is okay. And snipers, four is okay. But I, I do think the submachine guns need about two more, and the assault rifle needs one more. But that's just me. And let's move on to the shotguns. Honestly, do not use a shotgun. I know you're going to like if you use like the KRM or basically any shotgun's good in this game, but just don't use those because you're it's rare that you're going to be in that close of a quarters fight where it's going to make sense to use them. Light machine guns, use any of these that you want. They're all amazing. They they're like the best light machine guns ever to be put in Call of Duty before. So if you use them, I do have to say the uh, Dingo and the Gorgon is my favorite. Now, the Gorgon does get a little bit of tedious if people rush you, but that's just something you gotta look out for. Other than that, it's a two-shot kill no matter what. So you can shoot them in the leg and then in the chest or in the leg and then the other leg, the hand, the other hand. It's a two-shot kill. Now, I have gotten a little bit more hit markers than desirable with that, but I do think I was shooting through something and and I, you know, maybe it was like three at the max, but it is a fairly quick death gun. Now, next up are the sniper rifles. I personally have not used any of the sniper rifles, but I have heard that the SVG 100 will never get a two shot. You'll never get a hit marker with it. So maybe that's good. Obviously, the Lotus is just overpowered. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned a little something. Maybe you guys can get out there and get some more kills than what I have. I think I'm rocking a 1.5, 1.6 KD, which, you know, I was hoping for it too. But who cares? You know what? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. My name's Aaron. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.